Sean Cody, TexasGunTrust.com, back again. This is an interesting thing about this can. Look at this. You'll notice that this is a wrench flat right here. That's a wrench flat, and this is a wrench flat. So if the can gets stuck on, the wrench is actually going to depress the latch and let you rotate it off. And John, what was the other reason for the wrench flats? For precision, you can torque the silencer on for repeatability every single time, just like you would the bottom metal on your rifle or your scope rings or anything else. Um, torque it on, torque it off. Um, simple, genius, simple genius. And it's patent pending. Absolutely. And another thing is you don't even have to worry about the uh, ratchet. John, would you hold that rifle? Sure. So basically, when you're going to take this can off, you just break it loose. Then you depress the ratchet and then un unscrew it. It's not a ratchet. There's no teeth on it. There's no teeth to wear so out. Simply so put it on and you'll watch the the, the uh, secondary tension lever just drop right into that trough. And it's on. There you go. So it's not even a ratchet. That is a latch. Yep. So that is pretty ingenious. That's uh, th This is a uh, new... This is something that's new. I haven't seen this on any of the other suppressors. And uh, boy, it looks like Kevin Birmingham and John Hollister Ethan are Lissard. back, and Ethan, yeah. and Ethan Lassar, they are back. So it's good to see, good to see him out and making new, uh, new cool, innovative so stuff. No two, mom. Oh, so that's the actual baffle. Those stack. are the baffles, the welds, and then over the top we've got ion bond PVD for finish, not Cerakote or anything else. So this is a tubeless suppressor. This is this is kind of like the old uh, old uh, marketing videos for the M4 2000 with the circumfer uh, circum. Show the show the welds. Yeah. We're showing you the welds. Yeah, the circumferentially welded Correct. baffle stack that you could shoot and it would perform just fine. Absolutely. Without the tube on it. So here it is in the wild as a fully production ready piece. Correct. Well, John, thank you so much again. Thanks, Sean.